So which is better, being a sole trader or forming a company? In this video, we're going to discuss the advantages and disadvantages of both, so you can decide which is right for you. So if you're considering starting a business, it's important to understand the pros and the cons. So let's get into it, shall we? Hello there, my name's Ian from Your Company Formations, where we make forming your company a piece of cake. Now, if you run your own business, keep all the profits after tax, and are personally responsible for any losses your business makes, you are, by the very definition, a sole trader. So, first up, let's talk about some advantages of being a sole trader. First, it's easy and inexpensive to set you up. You simply register with HMRC, as a self-employed person, receive a 10-digit UTR, which is your unique tax reference, and pay the relevant tax each year. There's no need for you to register with Companies House or pay any registration fees. Also, by not needing to register with Companies House, this gives you more privacy compared to a company where the details are in the public domain, although this can be circumvented when setting up a company. You can also easily shut down your business as a sole trader compared to a company, but we hope that won't become an issue for you, obviously. And secondly, you have complete control over your business, which means you can make all the decisions and keep all the profits. And thirdly, you'll have a more straightforward tax system to follow, as you only need to file a self-assessment tax return each year. However, there are also a few big disadvantages that you may need to consider. Firstly, you are personally liable for any debts or legal issues that arise in your business. Now, this is quite a significant disadvantage because if everything completely was to go wrong with your planned business, you would be liable and therefore not only have the headache of trying to sort it all out, but it could also affect your personal assets as well. For example, if you were a tradesman visiting someone's house and you were to cause some serious damage to the property, in theory, the liability would be on you personally meaning your own personal assets could be at risk. Secondly, it can be difficult to raise finance. As a sole trader, financiers may be hesitant due to the increased risk associated with personal liability, as you may not have the same credibility or track record as a company, making it difficult for the financiers to assess credit worthiness. And finally, you may struggle to compete with larger businesses as you may not have the same resources or economies of scale. So now let's look at some of the advantages of forming a company. Now firstly, a company is a separate legal entity, which means your personal assets are protected if your business runs into financial trouble. There are some companies and lenders that can have clauses in contracts that bypass this, but for the most part, your personal assets are safe when forming a company. But as an example, if your company was to buy, say, materials from a vendor to fulfill a contract, but then the contractor was unable to pay for that work, you still owe money to that vendor, of course. But those debts would be liable to your company, not to you. And you would not need to worry about your personal assets, like your car or your house, being affected, for example. Secondly, you may find it easier to raise finance as a company as investors and lenders may view you as more credible and trustworthy, as companies also have the ability to be able to issue shares for equity. So basically, the polar opposite to the disadvantage of being a sole trader. But do bear in mind that you still need to have a trading history that has been published on Companies House to add credibility. You won't just become trustworthy just because you're a company and not a sole trader. And thirdly, you can take advantage of tax planning opportunities such as paying yourself a salary and taking dividends. And a limited company is, in general, more tax efficient once you have reached a certain profit threshold. So finally, let's discuss the disadvantages of forming a company. Well, firstly, it can be more expensive and time-consuming to set up, as you'll need to register with Companies House and follow certain legal requirements. However, we are here to help every step of the way to make things easier and we have a variety of packages to suit all budgets. With your company formations, you can launch your business with confidence by following a five minute setup prompt. And you can have your company up and running in just three hours. 
which means this shouldn't be a contributing factor in your final decision. And all this can easily be taken care of for you. And of course, you'll have to follow different tax rules as well, such as corporation tax and VAT. But depending on the package that you choose from your company formations, we can alleviate all that for you, either with a free tax consultation, which comes with all of our packages, or VAT registration if you choose the fully inclusive or international package. So which is right for you, being a sole trader or forming a company? Well, ultimately, it depends on your personal circumstances and the type of business you want to run. Now, if you're just starting out and you want to keep things simple, being a sole trader may be the best option for you. Remember, you can always form a company at a later date, but do bear in mind this is a little bit more complicated when you want to incorporate after being a sole trader. But again, that's something we can help you with. However, if you like the idea of presenting a more professional image, maintaining distance between yourself and your company liabilities, or maybe you're just looking to raise capital at a later date to expand your business, then forming a company may be the better choice. Now, if you decide that forming a company is your best option, then make sure to visit our webpage at yourcompanyformations.co.uk or give us a call so we can point you in the right direction. Thanks for watching and let us know in the comments below if you've got any burning questions and I'll do my absolute best to answer them. And don't forget to share this video with friends if they're thinking about starting a business. My name's Ian from Your Company Formations and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye for now.